On Indigenous issues, what about the Greens senator and Indigenous woman Lydia Thorpe? She's against the Indigenous voice, by the way, voice opponent, Senator Lydia Thorpe, and she says this country is still at war with Indigenous people, can you believe? Anyway, Thorpe's posted a clip on social media today saying the last peaceful day for this country was January the 25th, this day, in 1788. Apparently life was some kind of blissful nirvana before then. No violence, no fighting among clans or tribes, apparently settlement and the creation of Australia ruined everything. We lived a free and happy, sustainable life. These lands were, were so pristine. The waters were pristine. So, and that's what we maintained for thousands and thousands of generations. Colonisation was brutal. It was deliberate. Really? Now, Thorpe is paid more than $200,000 a year by Australian taxpayers. How's that working out for her? And they fly her all around the country and the world too, if she wishes. And she even boasts online about lapping up the luxury in the fancy Qantas airport lounge, another perk of office. And if she's so worried about a pristine environment, Thorpe Shaw picks some strange comrades because she infamously has been hanging out with gas-guzzling bikies. I mean, if she's no hypocrite, wouldn't she be with the e-scooter crowd? So this is Senator Lydia Thorpe, filmed in her government-funded, air-conditioned office in a digital video recording posted on Twitter railing against modernity. And Tennis Australia, Cricket Australia, Kmart and other corporates and the Labor Party, they take slacktivists like Thorpe seriously and they change their policies accordingly. It gets even worse than that. The Federal Finance Department today has announced that political staffers, just like public servants, can work on Australia Day if they like, to virtue signal, I suppose, and then take another day off. My tip is they'll sit around tomorrow and take Friday off. Telstra has had a go at Australia Day too and Teal, MP, Allegra Spender. It's flavour of the month for the woke left. I reckon the most offensive thing about all this is the inanity. It's just so dumb. You can't change what we are. You can't change our history by changing the date of Australia Day. These people are complaining about the very notion of Australia. So they diss the nation, they undermine our unity, and they prove that they prefer political fashion over sovereign reality. I wonder if these people ever stop to consider whether this continent, this nation, was ever unified or indeed ever peaceful until it became the country of Australia. Australia, Indigenous heritage and people, British institutions and British people as well, and a multicultural influx of people. Prosperous, free, democratic. If you don't like that, you might be the one with the problem.